my beloved friends, my brothers, my sisters, all of you that love the chosen, I have a beautiful video, but first, before showing this to you, I'm gonna give uh, the credit that he deserves to happy to be chosen. This is a, a channel on Instagram or an account. How, how do we mention uh, those that are on Instagram channels, accounts? I don't know. He has about 157 posts, 17.5k followers, not bad. And he or she, I don't know who is behind this channel, is the one that originally posted this. Hugs from episode 4, The Chosen Season 4. I want to post this here too. I'm gonna put a different musical background because this doesn't... Uh, come together with uh, the policies of YouTube for shorts as you know you can use any music you want but when it's about videos that are longer than one minute and you see them on 16.9 then you cannot use a music that is copyrighted less than one minute the maximum one minute is okay and for short version only which is as I said uh, not 69 by 4.3 you know the one that you can see on your phone <laughs> You understand me, don't you? So, <clears throat> the music, uh, this beautiful music that you listen is the music of my friend David Lastra. No copyright music. He makes music out of his heart and he deserves you, my friend, to go on his channel, to subscribe to his channel. This channel is called Deep Instrumental and you find David on YouTube with this name, Deep Instrumental. Now let's go and take a look at this absolutely phenomenal montage in <laughs> French of well, who else but uh, our friend from uh, Happy to be Chosen. Happy to be Chosen. Don't forget to go to his Instagram or her Instagram and follow. And maybe we can. Happy to be Chosen if you're watching this. Are you interested in a life together, me and you, talking about, of course, the chosen? Please, tell me what you think of it. So let's take a look and maybe we can meet again just a tiny bit afterwards for final comments. Three, two, one, let's go. beautiful indeed everybody needs a hug you need a hug don't you when your heart is heavy when you feel suffering when you feel broken when you feel that no one and nobody understands you you need a hug I need a hug as well isn't it when I feel so alone in what I'm doing when I feel misunderstood in this ministry, when I feel that um, I don't make a difference, and I feel that the weakness around me is too much to bear, I need a hug. All of us, we need a hug. The Chosen shows that even the Lord needed a hug. <laughs> it surely was one of us. It is very possible that the Lord himself needed a hug and that didn't show a lack of perfection when we're talking about his humanity no we're talking about him being a human being 100% like us but no sin let's always underline this so there'll be no confusion there are people out there that they love to take our words and twist them and make them to be something that they're not so always make sure that when you speak, you speak clear. 
concise. And you do not forget to say what's more important. Yeah, more than possible that Jesus himself needed a hug. But that doesn't diminish his divinity. It doesn't make him less perfect. It only makes him human. That's why, that's why he came to God. I was an atheist before, you know. I never managed to understand God and the notion that God is a father was alien to me. Then Jesus came along. Jesus. Then I understood who God is. And I wanted to serve this God that sacrificed everything. This God that walked the earth just like me, just like you. This God that humbled himself so much so all of us can receive salvation. You see, now there is this theological debate about the chosen and unchosen. Christ died for every single human being and the call was for everybody, Jewish first and Gentiles, but everyone. Now it's up to us what we do. We're not predestined to choose, as we're not predestined to not choose Christ. It's up to us. Answer your call and say yes to Christ. I don't know if you committed just yet to Jesus, but let me use this opportunity to outreach to you and tell you now is the day. Do not delay. You don't know what tomorrow will bring. I don't know what tomorrow will bring. We're not sure of tomorrow. We're not sure of uh, five minutes after I finish this video. We're not sure about one hour after. We're not sure of what later will bring. So let's use this opportunity to commit our life to Christ. To be a Christian means to meet Jesus personally on our knees. To invite him to start something fresh in our life. And this invitation is open when we admit that we're sinners. When we admit that uh, <laughs> whatever we did, we mess it up. When we admit that we cannot do it on our own, when we admit that we need Him, when, when we put our trust, heart and soul, in Him. Like Gaius, <laughs> isn't it? Like Simon, Peter, like Matthew, like Rama, from the Chosen, like all of them, that they answer to the call. They've been called. It's loud, so loud, the devil hears it and he shrieks his teeth in anger, in anguish. The devil doesn't want humanity to f hear the call of Jesus. But let's hear his call and let's say yes. Yes, Lord. I want to follow you. And that warm hug will be for you as well. And you will feel it every single day of your life. See you soon.